New Crown Zenith tins have been released. We have the three Galarian birds, Galarian Articuno, Galarian Moltres, and Galarian Zapdos, all adorning their own various tins. Each one has five packs of Crown Zenith, so let's dig into them and see what we can get. So we're going to start with the Galarian Zapdos. Uh, of the three cards, it is my least favorite. Alright, so we have the promo card itself. Actually, decent centering. Yeah, not, not a bad cut. And then each tin comes with five packs of Crown Zenith. So let's see if we can pull something nice. I got that sleeved up, and let's start with our first Crown Zenith pack. Ooh, I think I see a hit in here. So we have Metal Energy, Pink Urchin, Great Ball, Bisharp, Shinx, Pancham, Snowfront, Rockruff, Tangela, Reverse Hollow of Corona, and Zamazenta V. That's actually what I'm missing. You know, a hit on the first pack is nothing to complain about. We'll see if it continues. If you're wondering about the Galarian Bird cards, in the Japanese set V-Star Universe, they were just part of the set. Uh, we got them as Black Star promos, so we don't have to worry about pulling them, but... You know, less cards in the set that we can possibly pull for hits. Water Energy, Electric, Rescue Carrier, Giraffe Rig, Snow Runt, Larvesta. I do see another hit in here, so let's see what we get. Tangela, Ball Toy, Glare Meowth, Electrovire from the Galarian Gallery. All right, that's a nice hit, and... Zacian V Star, another one I'm missing. This is a, it's a great box to start with. Two packs, three hits. So it, it can only go downhill from here, right? It can only go downhill. That's like a reverse jinx, right? If I say that, it will go only go uphill. We'll find out. Dark Energy, Electric, Digging Duo. Giraffe Rig. Oh, we do have another hit. You gotta be kidding me. Purloin. Grubbin. Skrelp. Helioptile. Wooloo. Oh, we have Zacian V from the Glaring Gallery. Oh, yes. That is basically alternate art. Damn, this is a good 10. And Hop Signature card. Alright, I'm gonna try to reverse jinx it again. Wait, if I say that, will it jinx? Will it work? I don't know, but I'm expecting these last two packs to be horrible. Like, I can't even get this one open. Like, this is how how bad it's going to go. Alright, and we have Water Energy, Giraffe Rig, Pink Urchin, Great Ball, Glaring Mr. Mime, Sunkern, Coughing, Bidoof, Salandit, Reverse Hollow Energy. Okay, I don't have any of those, so I'll take it. And Blossom Non-Hollow. So this is technically a Reverse Hollow Energy. There are energies that are hollow that are within this set, but you see, like the symbol itself is not hollow, but everything around it is. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna count this as a hit just because I don't have any. I have, this is the first one I pulled, and out of like three, no, this is the fourth opening of Crown Zenith. And for the final pack of this tin, then we'll dig into the other two tins. Come on, get out of there. Can we technically get a hit in every single pack in here? Chances are against us. Dark Energy, Energy Switch, Trekking Shoes, Lunatone, Helioptile, Wooloo, Shinx, Pancham, Snowrunt, First Hollow Digging Duo and Enamorous Non Hollow. So the streak has ended. And now we're on to the Articuno tin. Now, uh, of the three, this is. It's the one I like the most because it just the artistic qualities of the card are the most interesting to me. So let's 
So the centering on this one's not bad. It's a better quality than the Charizard Ultra Premium Collection cards. I mean, decently centered. And of course, it's another five additional packs. All the tens will be the same. So the first pack of this tin, and I haven't mentioned it yet, but I am still missing two Charizards from the set. Hopefully they show up on screen now if I edited this properly. Not through a lot of packs, it's just a Charizard V and V star, so hopefully they show up soon. We have Metal Energy, Great Ball, Soul Rock, Trekking Shoes, Helioptile, Ulu, Shinx, Pancham, Snowfront, Glaring Gallery, Glaring Gallery Coffee, which I don't think I have this one, and Bea Signature Card. For the second pack of this tin, we have Water Energy, Trekking Shoes, oh man, we have another hit. Digging Duo, Graveler, Seal, Potion, Aeron, Corefish, Energy Search, a Radiant Charger Bug, finally the last Radiant that I was missing since I have like five Eternatuses and a Radiant Charizard, and Stoutland V. I think I have this one, but can't remember. And really, this is why Crown Zenith is so much fun because it's just, it's really easy to get hits in, and all the hits look like really great. All the artwork is really interesting. Never a bad time. We have Dark Energy, Ultra Ball, Electric, Lost Vacuum, Bidoof, Salandit, Purloin, Grubbin, Skrelp, Reverse Hollow Electric, and Velosum Non Hollow. I mean, out of three packs, I'm not going to complain about those hits. It's, uh, Still a fantastic hit rate, and like the chances of a double hitter in Crown Zenith is just so high. So we have Water Energy, Soul Rock, ah, oh, there's another hit back there, Lost Vacuum, Luxio, Young Goose, Cheruby, Execute, Energy Retrieval, Emolga, Reverse Hollow Sunkern, and come on, let's get a Charizard V or V Star. Charizard V, all right, finally. This one shouldn't have been that hard to pull, and hopefully the Charizard V star is sitting in the next pack or in the next 10, but finally another Charizard is pulled. And the last pack of this 10. This one's been a little lighter on Glaring Gallery, which is I me, mean, it's understandable. The first one had a lot. But hopefully we get maybe one more Glaring Gallery pull. We have Metal Energy, Graveler, Pokemon Catcher, Pink Urchin, Wooloo, Shinx, Pancham, Snowrunt, Rockruff, Pissuing Gudra from the Galarian Gallery, so there's another one, and Zamazenta Hollow. So I don't know the exact values of how much everything's worth, but I'm guessing the first 10 is so far winning in terms of value from the actual cards themselves. We do have one more tin to go, so we'll see how it stacks up in the end. And finally, we have the Moltres tin, which is, at least from the Kanto versions, my favorite of the three, you know, Fire Fan Charizard, so I'm going to like Moltres. Um, but let's get this open and see what we can get. So this one also has, I would say, pretty good centering. Good cut quality. This is a fun looking card though. And like all the other times, another five packs, so let's see what the fates bring us. Alright, so the first pack of this Moltres tin. So I think I spied a hit in here already. Uh, yeah, there's definitely one. So we have Dark Energy, Layer On, Friends and Sinnoh, Gloom, Larvesta. Galarian Meowth, Shinx, Energy Retrieval, Larvesta, Ponyard, Reverse Hollow Galarian Meowth, and Rayquaza V Max. I think this is one I've pulled before. Uh, I think there actually there's two variants of this one, so maybe it's the one I don't have. And the second pack of this tin.
we have Water Energy, Lost Vacuum, Luxio, Digging Duo, Potion, Glaring Mr. Mime, Sunkern, Coughing, Oddish, Bibarel from the Glaring Gallery, which is one I don't have, and... Wait. Wait. What? Oh, it's an error pack. Um, so this one or this one shouldn't be there. Shall we be one of them? Uh, I'll take it. It's a win. And then we have Oranguru non hollow. So I just counted. There is there is uh, 11 cards plus an energy. So there's one extra card in here, which is probably the Vibarel, but I'm fine with it. Pack number three. Wait, this one has two code cards. <laughs> what is going on? We have V Star Marker, Rescue Carrier, Laron, Friends and Sinnoh. I hope there's a free Glaring Gallery in this one too. Rockruff, Aeron, Riolu, Starly, Scyther, Keldeo, Glaring Gallery, and Leafeon V. Double hitter. Maybe that's why I had two code cards. Okay, so I'm gonna ask this. Let me know in the comments. Is it wrong for me to hope that the other packs are also error packs with extra stuff inside? Like, is is that just me being a bad person? Actually, there's a crimped card in this one, so let's see. We have Metal Energy, By Sharp, Graveler, Pokemon Catcher, Purloin, Grubbin, Helioptile, Skrelp. Wulu, there's our partially crimped card. We have Quick Tune, Glaring Gallery, and Kyogre Hollow. All right, so not as good as the first 10. I think better than the second 10. We still have a pack left. Let's see what craziness we get out of this one. V Star Marker, Soul Rock, Crocker Rock, Luxio, Rock Ruff. Tangela, Altoy, Glaring Meowth, Starly, another Radiant Charger Bug, and Lycanroc Non Hollow. Alright, so that does it for this opening. I do think these tins are definitely worth it. Uh, I'm guessing I got well more back in terms of how much I pulled versus how much these cost me, which is around 70. And of course, the Black Star promos themselves, the Glarian Moltres, Articuno, and Zapdos are pretty fun, interesting cards that you can only get in these tins. Uh, both pool rates like these are definitely planning to do more Crown Zines openings in the future. Uh, so thanks for watching and see you on the next video. Please like, comment, and subscribe to see more videos like this.